I went from condos to pops house On calls now bus routes And the one person who had the key to my heart Took it and checked out Got you. Yeah. So, so uh, in the meantime Between that and you getting into rap Was you like, you know, working or anything like that? Here or? and there, yeah, I worked at a I worked at a, I worked at Shakey's and shit Okay Yeah, I okay. told, yeah, I said that too I put that in one of my songs um, Yeah, yeah But yeah, working at Shakey's and and then I started hustling, selling, selling trees. Yeah, yeah. Anything, nigga. I started. I was macking on different girls, like, yeah, using girls for like rides and like selling them dreams and acting like I really want to be with them, like yeah, yeah. just to get right, cause like just to get my situation together. But what's funny is every time that I did that, every time that I did that, I would lose everything, cause it was like the way I was moving wasn't godlike. You understand what I'm saying? So when I would like, when I would capitalize on a girl, like she, might, a girl might come to me with like a whip. Yeah, might have her own car, might have her own little spot, got a good job. I'm looking at her like I'm a hyena. When really, if I'm not interested in her, I should just leave her alone. Yeah. Uh, or if I'm interested in her, try to figure out how, you know, I can get like her and maybe just build off of that instead of trying to capitalize on her. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So yeah. when I was trying to capitalize on her. I would get chains and money and I might get a car off of her or just give her a fake story like I need some money. And then every time I would get that shit cut, like I would get money and cars and clothes for some weird reason, nigga, that shit will just disappear, nigga. Yeah. And I yeah. and I thought it was just like, oh, I was just bad luck, nigga, until I kept doing that, nigga. Mm. And I kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And then out of nowhere, nigga, like, um... Out of nowhere, like like I just started to realize it was a, it was a rep repetitive cycle. Yeah, yeah, like it was like oh shit, nigga, I'm being a bad person. This probably karma. This God <laughs> taking these blessings away from me. So when I finally stopped doing that and I started being a good man and found a nice girl, nigga, now I got a bomb ass spot. Mm. I got a c nice car, nigga. I got money. I'm in a good situation with my label. Um, I'm going on tours. I'm just my my whole life is elevating. Wow, dope, just dope. because of the way that I yeah, just yeah, because the way yeah. I, I I position myself in a positive aspect, being a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Instead of cause nigga just like oh what this I could take this or just being an opportunist. Yeah, yeah. You know I didn't like living like that, bro. Like and I, it was cool. I thought it was getting over on people. Like yeah, this bitch got this. This bitch got this. No, yeah. I'm cool, my nigga. I get my own shit, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I uh, mean, hey, everything that you said is real, man. At the end of the day, man, you reap what you sow. Yeah. So I mean, if you put negativity out there, you're gonna get ne negativity back. You know, it say that in the Bible. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But when you putting positivity out there, you'll get that back ten times plus more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what's happening right now. Like you say, I'm a good guy. You being blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you putting good energy out there at the end of the day. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So that's dope, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. You know. Um. Um. You know. So what eventually led you? to start getting into music, you know, and, and really start to take it to the next level. What was it that got you to that place? Shit, pain and um, just a bunch of pain I've been through and shit, bro, honestly. And and just really just I'm, and pain and boredom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pain and boredom, honestly, bro. Uh, the the different uh, avenues that I've explored and the trials and tribulations I've been through, that kind of brought me to you wanted to put that shit on paper or put, you know, just like put a pen to paper, be a writer or something. Yeah, yeah. Or like, like be an author of a book or be a musician. Yeah. And I just chose the musician life and I'm like, shit, I can get this out and niggas can feel me. And once I start getting reciprocation for it, I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm good. I had to show them that I was a man.